Why did you take that unfamiliar turn? That fork I barely noticed. I don't even know who you are, my silent gondolier. Yet I sit in the prow of your boat, pretending that I can hear my name spoken by the splashes of your pole as it broaches the canal water. And even at this moment, while we scout beneath the earth for a peek at Styx or Lethe, I'm content to have you at the stern, no longer troubled to never see you, nor hear the brooding timbers of your voice braided with mine. I savor instead such company as I can in the reassuring cadence of your strokes. We slide forward, below a cavern sky of basalt whose hard black ash clouds hang frozen overhead. Somewhere in the highest rock-hewn reaches of this cave, on the ceiling of this night-bound lake, a glint of mirror white ricochets like runny chrome. It shatters on a moat sharp as sandblast that scatters spectral colors from the beam, aiming each at angles better measured by the hue. Yet no sooner than the shades are cut and cast do they come together again like a gasp of surprise and shoot away in focused monochrome. We sail across the bowl of a great spoon, beyond which there is no knowing of the world. Water parts along the hall and slips behind like fingers reaching for the hem of a saint. I listen to its fluid, ceaseless hush as it falls over some invisible lip of rock circling us and pours the overflow down a depth of air that hides the crashing spray. What larger cave, what greater mouthful of sightless wind that swallows this covered cup we slowly cross? From what springs are these waters drawn, some deeper earth than ours, lapping at the boat with its silver ripples? Hovering somewhere in the wind, I hear the clicking of mandibles, buzz of beating wings, and as always in the dark, I fear everything I cannot know. But the ceiling sparks again with color, and in lights they cast before the boat, I spot some peak of shadow, an outline bobbing on the water to remind me that whether or not we chance to meet, you carry me across surfaces that wash cold the trailing tips of my fingers. I have no care of if you take me over the edge, I'll trust you to hoist a hidden sail that raises us onto the cavern winds, tacking toward a new course and a way out that I've never seen.